There's one good case that hasn't been mentioned, and some here may know about it, and I just thought I'd pass on as a little story. Kevin Higgins? Yeah. The story of Kevin Higgins? Kevin Higgins, yes, the poet and writer. He was suspended in June 2016. Now, he lives in Ireland. He's um, an overseas member. And he was suspended because he satirised Tony Blair in a poem. (laughs) So, look, I brought brought it along. I thought you might like to hear it. (laughs) I, I, I I won't read the whole poem because it's quite long, and it's, um, it's a rewriting of Brecht's poem of the, 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 the soldier's wife. What did the soldier's wife receive? Obviously, the soldier is shot, and the soldier's wife just gets, you know, something entirely <coughs> insignificant. Um, and uh, this is just a little bit from Kevin Higgins. Th- th- this, you, you've got to leave... The, we're probably we're all complicit. We'll all have to be suspended from the Labour yes. Party. If you hear this, so we'll if you don't have to be suspended, you better leave the room now. Yeah. Anyway, here, yeah. here it goes. It, this is where it finishes up. And what did she get, the ex-Prime Minister's no longer new wife, from all the depleted uranium shells he had dropped during the Battle of Basra? All the soldiers he sent to meet improvised explosive devices in far Mesopotamia. For these she got white night terrors of him on trial for all their crimes and the desire to never again look out the front window of their fine Connaught Square house at the tree from which it said they used to once string traitors. (laughs) For that, he kicked out the party. Well, I guess he's not the only one to be disgusted by Blair, by his illegality, by the hundreds of thousands of people he caused to die and for the millions he's made since he left office. If anyone brings the part into disrepute, it's that man. But but what's happened to Kevin? Um, Well, he didn't hear anything for a long time. And in June 2016, he was was suspended. May, last year, he wrote to the Governance and Legal Unit requesting all the documents within 40 days that relate to him as per his data protection rights. Nine months later, no reply. No reply. Still suspended, as far as I know, the latest news I have. It is inefficient. It's incompetent and it's unprincipled. And those people should not be in charge of that disciplinary procedure. 